<laughs> Survival is your responsibility. I have a head injury! I'm serious. <laughs> I'm Keith Silverstein. I've been a voice actor for about 15 years. Yeah, I'm uh, currently working on uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I'm working on Doraemon. I'm working on a show called Dura Ra Ra, a show called Fresh Beat Band of Spies. I'm Vector the Crocodile from the Sonic the Hedgehog series. Hunk from the Resident Evil series. I played uh, Solomel from the Soul Calibur series. If you watch Bleach, I play Stark. And uh, I also had the opportunity to, yes, drum roll please, work on Sesame Street. I played Ziggy the Rapping Zebrasaurus. A circle is round just like this plate. I know, it's crazy. People, I can't, I can't even shop. You know what I mean? I can't go to the mall because people are like, weren't you that Rapping Zebrasaurus on Sesame Street? <laughs> I'll come up with a voice sometimes, and I'll be like, that's kind of cool, there's something there, but it's not complete. It's not a complete character yet. And so I will sit at my booth at home on the microphone and just work on that character. How does this character laugh? What does this character do when they're angry? You know, uh, when they laugh, how do they laugh? And, and just read a whole bunch of stuff, a lot of copy, even if it's not copy for that character, just to see, this is how this character would read Shakespeare. I think you just have to keep doing it. <laughs> I'd say 30 to 40% of the voice actors record bottomless, like pantless. They don't wear anything from the waist down. It's funny, because you wouldn't think that, you know? But I mean, you can name almost any of the guys. I mean, Mel Blanc did it, uh, Steve Bloom. Um, I mean, there's so many people I don't even want to, um, I think Karen Strassman. Uh, she doesn't do it when I'm there, strangely enough. I'll take care of him. I play the NPC that everyone loves to hate most in Skyrim. That's right, I play Nazim. I'm that arrogant son of a bitch who basically asks you if you've been to the Cloud Kingdom. Do you get to the Cloud District very often? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you don't. And for some reason, everyone absolutely hates this. Well, I should say they love to hate this character because they're constantly posting stuff. Can I just say thank you for posting all that fun stuff where you kill Nazim over and over on YouTube? Because I enjoy that. <laughs> One of the cool things about dubbing is everything's there for you already. I mean, you can see the tone, you can see what needs to be put in there. You've already got the music and the effects and everything. So it's instant gratification and you're doing it by yourself. So if it's a tender moment or a serious moment or a real action moment, whatever it happens to be, you can really get into that. You're just kind of in your own world. Like no one's messing with your energy during the take. When you're doing original, you have the ability to create from scratch. You know, and you're only limited by them when the director says, you know, we need it this way or that way. But you can try whatever, and you can go as crazy as you want. You don't have to match that animation. You can take your time with it, or you can speed something up. You can, you can try a lot more options and have a lot more fun with the characters. And of course, if you're working with other actors, it's great to be able to bounce off of them. You can't beat that energy, so. Hi, I'm Keith Silverstein. Make sure you subscribe to the Verite VoiceOver YouTube channel and check it out. Now, I've got to put some pants on. Are my pants in here? It's my my pants over there? So you'd set up this whole scene where like, well fine, I'm leaving, but first I'm gonna get a coat. You know what I mean? And so that was like half of the fun of doing